the Nile flows northwards from eastern Africa through Egypt into the Mediterranean Sea. It has been dubbed Africa's longest river, however, some studies suggest the Amazon River in Brazil is a bit longer. Rivers are generally measured from their mouth to their farthest year-round source. For example, the Amazon River flows 4,345 miles or 6,993 kilometers from the Peruvian Andes through Brazil into the Atlantic Ocean. In 2007, a research funded in part by the Brazilian government put the length of the Nile River at 4,258 miles or 6,853 kilometers from the mountains of Burundi to the Mediterranean Sea. This research has its drawbacks because it was funded by the Brazilian government, and skeptics doubt the methods used. To provide a more accurate estimate, GPS technologies was used by geographers to explore the Amazon and the Nile while considering changes in the course through seasons and years. One of the major problems in determining the length of the Amazon is its multiple start and end points. Taking a meandering measurement from source to exit, the Nile can easily be measured to be about 4,130 miles or 6,650 kilometers. But, the unsolved mystery of the Nile is not actually its length, but determining how it was formed. If we measured the volume flow of water per year in cubic meters, the Nile River is actually one of the world's smallest. It meanders through the Democratic Republic of Congo, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, South Sudan, Republic of Sudan, and Egypt. Apart from being the primary water supply for Egypt, South Sudan, and Sudan, the Nile is also of economic importance, sustaining agriculture and fisheries in these countries. It has two main tributaries. White Nile, which is the longer of the two, originates from the Great Lakes region of Uganda, and the Blue Nile, stems from a lake known as Tana in Ethiopia. Both rivers confluence in northern Khartoum in Sudan. The White Nile is the mainstream source of the Nile, however, 80% of water volume and silt come from the Blue Nile. The river merges into the Mediterranean Sea at Alexandria. As the cradle of ancient civilization, the Nile continues to be a vital transit and irrigation route in modern times. Most of the cities of Egypt are located in the Nile Valley region north of Aswan, and almost all historical sites of ancient Egypt were developed and located on the river banks. So when was the Nile River formed? One group of scientists believed the river was created 6 million years ago when a drainage system shifted course, while another group believes the river is five times older. The Nile River might have emerged around 30 million years ago, driven by the motion of Earth's mantle. The thick layer of rock between the Earth's core and crust, a group of researchers reported in a journal called Nature Geoscience. The Ethiopian highlands is where the Blue Nile takes its roots. Sediments taken from the Nile Delta which were formed at a location where the Nile and Mediterranean Ocean meet were studied and compared to the composition of old volcanic rock discovered on the Ethiopian plateau. A match between the sediments and rocks indicated that the river and plateau originated in the same period. These sediments were between 20 to 30 million years old. Researchers were interested in seeing how the river was possibly connected to the Earth's mantle. So they created a computer simulation that replayed 40 million years of Earth's plate tectonics. The theory suggests that Earth's outer shell is cut up into pieces that move around and glide over the mantle. The simulation showed that a hot mantle plume pushed the ground upward, creating the Ethiopian highlands. It also activated a still existing mantle that pushed upward on the Ethiopian highlands in the south and pulls the ground down in the north, this, in turn, created a northward slope, on which the Nile runs till today. It was concluded that the drainage system of large rivers and their evolution over time can be sustained by a dynamic topographic gradient. As a result of this steady topographic gradient, the Nile's ability to follow the same route for thousands of years is maintained. Today, the Nile continues to be a vital lifeline to countries along its route.